ultrasound of a primary gravida, 24 weeks of gestational age. Now the single largest amniotic fluid pocket that I have measured is uh, this one. This is the single largest amniotic fluid pocket that is visualized and it measures approximately 2.6 centimeters which is significantly less and this is a case of oligohydramnios. Now the cause is here you see the right kidney. This is a multicystic dysplastic right kidney. This one. This and uh, you can see tiny cysts within it measures approximately 33.1 into 1.2 centimeters. There is loss of lobulation, there is loss of parenchyma, and uh, there are all cysts, non communicating cysts. These are not communicating with each other, and the size of the kidney is not enlarged. Uh, then the other factor of importance is to note that there is no perfume seen. No perfume seen, this is the outer. In this kidney. And uh, now let's see the other one. <coughs> the just all of the ultrasound is normal, I have gone through it, uh, but then the main problem it lies in the kidneys. Now this is the left kidney, almost of the same size as that of the, uh, that we saw on the right kidney, thinned out parenchyma, multiples as we saw there in the right kidney, there are multiple cysts, no perfume, thinned out parenchyma, loss of lobulation. Normally in the fetus you see lobulations like this. Now these cystic areas are non-communicating. Size of the kidney is within normal. <coughs> Three point five by one point seven centimeters. So this is a case of oligohydramnios because of renal pathology, which is multicystic dysplastic kidney. Kidneys. Now urinary bladder is seen. Yeah, you see, this is the urinary bladder, caudal end of the, and this is the kidney. See the kidney, and the cystic areas with the stroma, uh, fat, central sinus psychocomplex, thick. Stroma and then the loss of population and multiple cysts all are, in all of the renal substance. This is our case of the day. Thank you.